potassium hydroxide was the chemical that was in one of the in one of the trucks and it burned intensely. The scars from this morning's crash and fire on the northbound lanes of the Brent Spence Bridge will likely remain visible for a long time. It's what those scars tell inspectors that will determine just how long the bridge will have to remain closed. Our bridge inspectors, not only from the local, from our District 6, but also from our central office, are here committed to finding the <clears throat> resolution to it as quickly as we can. The damage was so extensive that by mid-afternoon, inspectors were still waiting to examine how structurally sound the Brent Spence currently is. But Kentucky Transportation Secretary Jim Gray expressed confidence in the nearly 60-year-old bridge itself, despite people for years saying it needs to be replaced. It is a very sturdy bridge. The public should not be concerned about the bridge itself. In fact, we had plans for a letting for the repainting of the bridge just for in the next month. So I think it, it's very important that the public knows that this is a safe bridge. But how safe it is for trucks carrying dangerous chemicals to cross the Brent Spence is now an open question. It makes us think about uh, how we transport and safest ways to, to transport um, highly corrosive and, and dangerous uh, chemicals. Now back live off in the distance, you can see traffic moving uh, on the Clay Wade Bailey Bridge. That's just east of the Brent Spence. I can tell you, I was also on the phone today with an engineering expert at UC who studies fire and steel okay. buildings. And she told me that while the damage might look extensive, inspectors should in time be able to properly assess where things stand. She did tell me it's often more cost effective to remove and replace damaged parts of steel after a fire and a structure rather than replacing the entire thing. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT. T News 5.